Welcome to Unreal Gems. In this video, we are going to take a look at anim composites, which are kind of like animation sequences, but you can combine them however you want. The first asset type that we are going to take a look at is the anim composite, which is going to allow us to combine different animation sequences into a single asset and treat it as a unified animation sequence. So you can treat it as if it was a single animation sequence. This is uh, great, for example, for creating loops like this one, which uh, we are starting idle, then we jump and then we land. And we can treat this as a single animation sequence, which is going to allow us to play it in the level, use it in our animation blueprint, or even in a sequencer track. So as you can see, it has a lot of uses. But we need to know the particularities of this type of asset, which are first that it has no blending, which means that the transitions between animations are going to be hard and instant. So animations need to fit really well together. If not, you are going to see jumps and glitches. So be careful with that. Next, know that you can use notifies and curves. So for example, if I wanted here to pop a particle, a particle system, like for example a Niagara particle system, I could do so with a notify here that uh, allowed me to then reproduce that uh, particle system. We also have available curves which would allow us to modify additively bone positions or even modify morph targets if we had them. Next you need to know that uh, this, um, this type of asset only stores references to the animation sequences, so it has low overhead, and that the additive type of the animation sequences that you are using inside this animation composite need to be the same. So if they are not, you are going to get an error when you drop the animations in the anim composite telling you that they have a different type and that you cannot use them. So know it in advance so that you can fix it easily when it pops up. Okay, so let's go to the engine. And right now it is quite simple to create the anim composite. Right click on the content browser and go to animation and then animation composite. Real simple, real easy. Select the desired skeleton, which in my case is my auto rig actor skeleton. And then a new asset will pop up. Let's name it AC underscore and jump because we are going to make a jump loop. Remember that I always use the initials of the type of asset so that I quickly know by name what type of asset everything is. And now let's go to the animation editor and let's go ahead and drop the idle animation, which is going to be the first animation in our anim composite. You can see that it is real easy. You just drag and drop from the asset browser. If you don't see it, go to window asset browser and it will pop up. With that, let's go ahead and drop the second animation, which is going to be the jump start animation. And right now you can see that the idle animation is way too long. So we need to fix that. It is real easy. You just select the animation that you want to resize and then drag the handles on the editor and that's it. You can see that it is right now way shorter and it fits really well with our jump start animation. Let's go now to the full loop so that we can make a full loop, a full jump loop. Again, it is too long, so I'm just dragging and making it shorter. And you can see right now that it fits quite well. There is no blending, but it is not too bad. It could be better, but it is not too bad. Let's add the last animation, which is going to be the land animation. And in this case, you can see that everything is looking pretty much okay. As I mentioned before, there is no blending, but it is what it is. If by any chance you don't like the full loop, you can go ahead and select it, right click and delete segment if you want to remove it or 
press the delete key with the segment selected. If you want to reorder the animations, it is quite easy also. You can just click on one and drag it and it will replace the other one. The same thing to go back if I want to go back because right now it makes no sense. So just drag and drop and the animation will switch places with the other one. So with that, you can see it is real easy to get animation composites working and they are quite cool and quite handy. If we want to add a notify track, just right click, add notify and select new notify. With that, you can go ahead and input the name and it will be created. Then you can use the notify as usual. We will have a tutorial on that. But for now, let's go ahead and delete it because we are not going to do anything. Let's add some curves. It is quite easy also. Just go ahead and click on add curve and then select the bone or the morph target that you want to add a curve to. Let's delete it again with the delete key because we are not going to use it. And let's save the animation composite because we are done here. Okay, so let's now test it out in our level. Let's select the other instance that I have created with Citrine. Let's switch the animation mode to animation asset and select or animation composite. With that, if we now go ahead and simulate, you are going to see that the animation composite is reproduced and it is treated as a single animation. So you can see how it starts jumping and then lands from idle and with the animations that we wanted in our animation composite. So for now, this is one application. You can use it like this on your levels. You could also drag and drop the animation composite as if it was a single animation. And you could also use it in your sequencer tracks exactly the same. I have created an empty animation blueprint so that you can see how to use it in them. Go to the asset browser and just drag and drop the animation composite. It's going to look like a normal animation. And with that, if you connect it to the output post and compile, you can see it playing once. Since we don't have looping, it's only going to play once, but we could also loop and make it play infinitely. Let's go ahead and see in our level if it is working OK. We just need to select Citrine, change from Use Animation Asset to Use Animation Blueprint, and then select our Animation Blueprint, which is ABP. C3 test. If we now press simulate, you are going to see the animation composite play once. Okay, perfect. So idle, jump and land. Everything is working okay. Well, so that's it for this video. As you can see, animation composites are quite easy to manage, but they are an awesome tool to have in your belt, especially with sequencer. Remember, if this video has been helpful to you, go ahead, like and subscribe, and we'll see each other in the next videos. Huge shout out and thanks to all my Patreons. As you know, making these videos takes a ton of time and effort because I research in depth all of the topics that I cover. So if you want me to keep making awesome stuff, consider supporting me on Patreon.